Hello students, in this video, we are going to learn about Soda Dispenser Machine Part 2. In our previous video, we start with the idea of Soda Dispenser Machine. We have created the high-level state machine. We created a data path and we have assigned the controller's input and we have connected the controller with the data path. Now the next step, what we have to do is, we have to drive the controller's FSM. So what is the high level state machine? The high level state machine is the soda dispenser machine that is been, that is capturing or the data or the behavior is being captured using this state machine, which is the state machine, high level state machine. So I'm having four states named as initial state, wait state, add state, and the dispense state. So in initial state, my D is equal to zero, means the dispense is equal to zero, and the total is equal to zero. The total is a local register, I hope you know that. So in the initial state, the D must be equal to zero, and total must be equal to zero. Now, the finite state machine is nothing but there will be a signal that is coming into it. It is not that the register will not be there in your finite state machine. When a particular signal or a one bit operation is coming, my states will be moving to the next state. Means whenever I'm the state is receiving some one bit information or one bit control signal, it is going to be moved into the next state. That is called as finite state machine. So now the total register must be equal to zero. So now how I can convert this finite or uh, high level state machine into the finite state machine? See now in initial state, what is the data input? It is total is equal to zero. I can't write the total is equal to zero in my finite state machine because there will not be any registers in your finite state machine. So thing is all will be inputs and output, everything will be a single bit. So what I'm having total clear is equal to one. I guess you remember in our data path, we had a signal called as total clear and total load. So in the initial state, I want my total is equal to zero. That has been represented with a signal total clear. So when my total clear signal is equal to one, it means I have to make sure that the total registers are made equal to zero. So I have converted this total is equal to zero in an another format that is understandable by the controller, which is total clear is equal to one. And then once I'm in initial state, when I did all this initial signal, I will be moving to the next state, which is wait state. In wait stage, for whom I will be waiting? I will be waiting for my coin. Okay. When I'm waiting for my coin, when I get a coin, I will go to the next state, which is called as add state. In the add state, what I have to do? I have to perform an addition operation with the value of the cash that has been deposited. So this total is equal to total is equal to A. Means I have to load the data. Okay, I have to load the data inside my register, which is, or I have to load the data that I'm getting from the output or from A inside my total register. Only then I can perform the addition operation. So total load is equal to one. When the load signal is equal to one, I will be taking or I will be loading the value of A and that is performing the addition operation and the added value will be sent into the wait state for checking whether the cash that I have deposited is less than the value of soda or it is more than the value of soda. So for that, inside my wait state, once the load signal has been turned equal to one, the addition has been done and it will be moving into the wait state. So now total less than yes, means what control signal it is? Total less than S. Yes. That is a control signal that I am using. So when total less than S yes has been equal to one, which means I have to still wait in the wait state or else if total less than S bar, if it is not, okay? If the signal is total less than S, I will be waiting in the st wait state. If is, it means the value of the cash that I have deposited is more than the value of soda. So I will move on to the dispense state. There I will be dispensing or I will be making my D equal to one and I will go back to the initial state. So now I have made four different control signals based on the high level state mission 
which is total clear is equal to 1 total load is equal to 1 total less than and total less than s bar okay now this controller's fsm will be there inside your data path and in will be there inside your controller and the data path inside will be having certain register order and the comparator okay this is what the structure is i have just connected both the controller and the data path now what is the next thing i have to complete my design first thing from your finite state machine only you can complete your design what are this so now our total clear signal so i will explain you the finite state machine once again when a coin or the c is equal equal to 1 i will be in the initial state and the initial state means the data will be equal to dispense is equal to 0 immediately when a coin comes my d must be equal to 0 and the total clear must be equal to 1 in such cases it is making us sure that my total register has been cleared and i'll move on into the wait state in the wait stage i'll be waiting for the coin once a coin is coming i will go to the add stage so in the add stage the information like you have to go and load the total register which is given by the signal total load is equal to one when that signal becomes one i am going to load my signal and in such a way i will be taking the value of a and i will perform the addition operation now the added value will be again will be there in the total and i will move on into the wait state for checking whether that added value is less than that is your total value is less than the s or it is more than the s if it is less than the s should i dispense a soda no so i have to still wait in the same state to receive another coin if not what i have to do i will be going to the state called as dispense state when my total signal is more than the soda value i will be moving into the dispense state and to make sure that i will make my dispense is equal to 1 when i am in the only when i am in the dispense state my d has to be equal to 1 and i will move back into the initial state okay at that time the output signal is i have to inform okay so i have to inform go and load the total register go and clear the total register when when a coin has been inserted and the data path is going to perform the operation and it is going to inform that the, i have done the operation i have done the addition operation and the value of yes or the value of the total is less than the soda value now your d will be equal to 0 if total less than yes is equal to 0 which means my d will be equal to 1 okay this is a single uh, boolean values so it will be either 1 or 0 if it is 1 if total less than 1 is equal to 1 it means the total less than s value is 1 so i can't dispense a soda if it is 0 i will be moving into the dispense state that has been mentioned as total less than s bar okay now for this fsm i have to draw the state register or a table what are the registers is all about see what are the inputs now i have s1 s0 which are the present state n1 n0 or the next state if you remember in our previous video or the introduction video i have shown you a diagram of a controller that we had fsm inputs and fsm outputs through a state register where the state register will be giving s1 and s0 and it will be accepting n1 and n0 so s1 and s0 is a present state n1 and n0 are the next state and another inputs are a C, which is coin, is present or not, and a total less than the soda value. So these are the inputs which is coming to the controller. And what are the inputs, outputs, N1 and N0, which is the output of the controller. And I have to dispense the signal, so which is D is the output. At the same time, total load as well as the clear of my output. See, from the diagram, you can see. D is the output, load and clear are the output added with the next state n1 and n0 in the same way c and total less than s is the inputs added with s1 and s0 now i am in the so so far i have explained you right the same thing is been written in the diagram so how many inputs four inputs so how many different combinations we have for four two power four which is 16 we shall start with 0 0 0 0 2 1 1 1 1 now we can just see uh, these things have been not written. I will explain you why it is not written because everything will be the same value of this. First thing is you have to write all the combinations of your 
inputs for so four different combinations 0 0 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 it goes on up to 15 okay now you see in my i am in the state where my present state is 0 0 see here 0 0 is nothing but the present state and 0 1 is the next state 1 0 is the add state and 1 1 is the dispense state so now, what is this 0, 0? When I am in the 0, 0, it means I am in the initial state. So up to here, I can call that as an initial state. See, you first write the numbers or write the different combination from 0 to 15. And now you will understand then whenever there is 0 and 0 in the present state, it means it is in the initial state. And in the initial state, when my total less than signal becomes equal to 1, okay, I am in initial state. And my total less than signal is equal to 1. What should I do? I don't want to do anything. But when I'm in the initial state, what is the next state? It has to go into the wait state. What is the value of the wait state? 0, 1. So when I am in the present state, which it is 0, 0, I have to go to the next state, which is 0, 1. So for all the combinations of 0, 0, I will make sure it is 0, 1. So initial state to the wait state. And in the initial state, my coin will be equal to 1. And if it is less than 1 or whatever it may be, my output is nothing but my load or the total clear signal has to be equal to 1. So whenever I am in the initial state, I must make sure that clear signal is equal to 1. Okay, that is what it is given and your D must be equal to 0. And in your initial, initial state, you will be moving into the next state termed as 0, 1, that is weight. Okay, so for all the different combination of your input, irrespective of your input change, your output will be in the next state 0, 1 and your clear signals will be high. And I have moved to the next state, which is weight state. In your weight stage, what is the next state you can go? You can go to 1, 0 state. Or else you can stay in the same state of 0, 1. Or else you can move into 1, 1. When are you going to move into 1, 1? Then my total less than signal is equal to 0. I will move into the next state. Okay. So when I get a coin, okay, if I receive a coin, see here, 0, 1 state. So in 0, 1 state, I have the next state is based on the coin value and total less than value okay so less than signal is going to determine whether should i go into the next state or should i wait in the same state so now if the total less than signal is equal to zero then i can sh make sure that i must go into the next state which is what is the next state one one it means the total less than signal has become zero so it is so sure that the value is being the cash that I have given has exceeded than the value of Sudha. So my less than signal is become zero, which means less than bar signal has been activated. So I am moving into the dispense state. If not, I am in the zero one state, okay, and my less than signal is equal to one. And in such case, what is the thing? I have to still wait in the same state. That is what zero one. And again, I am in the 0, 1 state. That is, I am in the wait state. I am receiving a coin when I am in the wait state. When I receive a coin, what I have to do? I have to move to the next state, which is the add state, which is 1, 0. I am in the wait state. I am receiving a coin. And at that time also, my less than bar is equal to 1. So thing is, whenever you receive a coin, irrespective of the less than signal, I will be going into the next state, which is the add state. After doing the addition operation, when I'm not receiving the coin, I will be checking my less than signal. If it is 0, go to the next state of 1, 1. Yes, you be the same state of 0, 1. In that particular case, your, all your output signals will be zero. And then I have proceeded to the add state once I got the coin. So the add state is one zero. What will be the next state? The next state of add is nothing but add is going again to the wait state. 
when i'm moving into the wait state what is the signal that has to be activated the total load signal has to be activated it is to be equal to 1 so when my load signal is equal to 1 i will be performing the addition operation and after performing addition operation where you have to move again you will be moving to the wait state that is what it is 0 1 and you are coming to the dispense state when it is 1 and 1 you will be in the dispense state and when you are in 1 1 what is going to happen in the dispense state the only output transition is through the initial state so the next state when i reach the dispense state is 0 0 in 0 0 i will be making that my d is equal to 1 so you just write all the combinations of add the remaining combination and here also the remaining combination 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 One zero one zero, all these combinations up to one 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 one. But for all the combinations of the dispense, your output is going to remain the same. And for all the combination of your add, your output is going to remain the same. Okay. So S one S not stands for the inputs present state, and then N one N not is going to be the next state from initial move to the wait, and from wait you move to add or to the same state or to the dispense state. Okay. When you receive a coin, you move to the next state. That is add. If not, you will be checking the loads less than signal. If it is less than signal is one, you will be in the same state. If it is zero, you will be moving into the dispense state. Now, what you have to do at finally is from from this truth table, you can just use the came up simplification for n one, n not d, total l d, or total clear. Or for all these final five signals, you can have Your K map simplification. I guess you all know how to write the draw the K map. So for all the signals, you can write a solve the K map, and you will be ending up with an expression. And that expression, if you just connect it with the particular AND gates and OR gates, you will be getting the circuit. So this is a simple custom processor called a soda dispenser processor. Nothing but after this diagram, you can just create a boolean expression. Mm -hmm. For n one, n not d, and load and clear by using K map simplification, and you will be ending up with the circuit. So this is all about the soda dispenser machine. I hope you understood the video. Thank you.